Beardo Benjo. Hello there, everyone. So it turns out I've been living under a rock for about five years um, because I've never heard of Dolphin VR. Now, I know I make a lot of videos about VR stuff and I usually use Vorpex. Um, Vorpex is one of the coolest things I've discovered. Not that I discovered it like it's a new thing, but it's one of the coolest things I use to capture non-VR games running in VR. Now, one of uh, someone actually commented on one of my videos, um, a chap called Darian Wade, um, and made me aware of this program. Dolphin VR. Now, Dolphin VR is an emulator that pushes Wii and GameCube games into VR renderings, and I am blown away by it. I downloaded it yesterday, and I spent the afternoon tinkering around and just playing with the settings and things, and I got some amazing, amazing results. So I'm going to do a little series. I'm going to put them in here with the Will It VR stuff around retro games, specifically GameCube and Wii games, running in this software. The software has been around for a long time. That's why I said I've been under a rock for about five years. I think it hasn't been updated since about 2016, but it still runs exceptionally well and you can get some fantastic results if you know how to tinker with it and kind of get the settings just right. Now today, I'm just gonna focus on showing you one game, Metroid Prime, um, just so you've got an idea of how the software works and kind of the results you get. Now, I will say straight away, the results are very impressive. Obviously, seeing it on a screen isn't going to kind of give you the best uh, example of what it's like for me in the headset, but when you're in there, it is 3D. Um, it's 3D, and one of the coolest features I'll speak about a little today, and I am completely happy to make more videos touching upon different aspects of the emulation software, uh, setting up, that kind of thing. But today, I'm really going to touch upon one thing. Um, I'll show you how it works, um, and I'll show you the difference when you play with the internal resolution. Now, I've just recorded a little bit of footage of Metroid Prime, which I'll put up on the screen now. Now, this is Metroid Prime running in its native re resolution um, of 640 by 528. Now, that's what the default is. When you first download um, Dolphin, the games will be running in that uh, in that resolution um, because that's what it's set to on the menu. Now, you can go in and start to pump that up, which is what I've done, and I'll show you some gameplay very shortly of Metroid running in 1080p. Now, you can push it all the way up to 5K, but obviously the processing power that requires um, is, is quite high, so you might not get the best results if you start pushing that beyond kind of 1080p, but play around with it and see what, what works best for you. Now for me, when I'm not recording, I can push it up to 4K, so uh, 3840 by 3168, uh, and all the options are there in the menu on uh, Dolphin as well. Very easy to navigate, I'll show you that in a second. But yeah, you can push it all the way up to 5K. Now, in this video, I'll be running it at uh, 1080p just because I'm running OBS Studio to capture, plus I'm also running Oculus Mirror to capture the gameplay. I've got a lot of processes running, so it was a little bit kind of um, intensive uh, and it was getting a bit of slowdown. But for me, I can run it at about 4K in a fantastically smooth, playable experience, which is very, very impressive. But here's the footage of the game running at 640 by 528. Uh, and I'll switch over now to show you the difference uh, when you pump it up, and this is just running 1080p, imagine what it's like in 4K. This is the difference when you put this old game into 1080p resolution. Okay, so this is Metroid Prime uh, running in 1080p uh, resolution um, through the Dolphin VR application. Now, I just showed you the gameplay that was um, all captured in uh, native, and I've kind of kind of already covered off the differences. But changing the resolution to 1080p makes a drastic, drastic change um, to the quality of the product you end up playing in VR here. It actually ends up making it look like a like a new game, not quite a brand new game, but just look at the difference in the detail of these creatures. As I say, I will have run you the um, footage of the native um, VR 
uh, rendering at this point. So, and I'll try and do some side by sides here, but it's just incredible to see how much different this is. It feels like a new game. It looks like a new game. I'm still getting a little bit of slowdown. Now I have been able to pump the resolution all the way up to 4K in my tests and get pretty smooth playable experiences. But um, for the benefit of the video, I've dropped it down to 1080p because running OBS and trying to capture it at high quality um, as well as uh, running Oculus Mirror, as well as running this, it, it just kind of puts a little bit of processing strain on the PC. So I was getting a little bit of slowdown. But having it at 1080p is a pretty smooth experience and kind of shows you just how good this application is. Now, as I said at the start of the video, I feel like I've been living under a rock um, not knowing about this um, application at all and I'm so glad it was brought to my attention because this is amazing. Um, it turns old games that, that I love very much from uh, an era uh, in gaming that is probably my favourite which is GameCube and Wii, you can run Wii games as well, into brand new experiences um, in VR. Now a few things to note, you can completely look around. So. I'm fully kind of detached from the character here. The uh, cannon, the arm cannon, always stays there. So I can't do anything about that, but I can look completely around. The rendering I'm seeing as well is 3D, which is mind blowing. This is an old game. Um, you know, Metroid Prime has been out for a long, long time, but this is all rendered in 3D and it looks absolutely fantastic. You would be, you'd be forgiven for mistaking this as kind of a new indie style VR game that was released now with kind of a little bit of a cartoony art style or kind of a retro art style. It looks amazing. I can't stress that enough. And as I say, it plays very smoothly. At the moment, I'm getting a tiny bit of slowdown, but again, I'm running a lot of processes all at the same time. Um, I will try and put out a couple of videos whereby I just kind of tinker with the settings and show you how to get the best results. If that's something you would like, let me know in the comments if that was, uh, is that something you'd like to see? This program is free, um, Dolphin VR. There isn't a lot of support for it at the moment. I think it hasn't had real support since probably about 2016. So it has been a while. Um, but the uh, program in its current state works fantastically. Uh, I've got to go into a little ball, haven't I? That's going to be interesting. Um, that button. Oh, cool. Okay, so now it's in like a third person. But again, I can still look around independently. Um, and down we go. Fantastic. It's just mind-blowing to me to kind of see how this game looks now. When you up it to, it looks even better obviously when you put it up to 4K. I will try and capture a little bit of footage and put it up. I say I was getting a little bit of conflict because I'm running OBS at the same time. Um, it just makes it look like a new game. All the, the, the armor looks kind of shiny and smooth. The edges have all been kind of smoothed out. It's, it's insanity. Okay, I've got my map. One thing, um, which I've noticed as well, Z. Okay, so I'm using an Xbox controller. Um, I tend to use that for my VR videos. It's a little bit easier for me. It's kind of nice to hold that and play the games. Um, this is very easy to map within the Dolphin software. Super, super easy to map all the GameCube controller buttons to this. Um, but you can also, if you wanted to, um, map the uh, buttons to the Oculus Touch controllers. You can even uh, have them show up in game, so in front of you, so you can look down and still see them. And they appear as kind of a GameCube controller that's been broken in half, which is which is just a really cool little touch. But say I'm opting for a game, uh, Xbox controller because it, it works the best. Very, very cool. Look at this, it's just so, so impressive. Now these videos are only gonna be shorter, uh, only gonna be quite short, not gonna be as long as my Will It VR videos. Oh my word. If you wanna see particular kind of retro games, GameCube games, let me know and I'll try them out. Um, as I say, I've already planned to uh, show you guys uh, Mario Sunshine running. Mario Kart also runs very well, I'll show you that. But yeah, shout out if you wanna see particular things or if you wanna see a video kind of just detailing how, um, how this works, I'm happy to do that. Oh, there you go, lock onto that. I love scanning things in this game. But yeah, these will be a little bit shorter than my Will It VR videos, um, purely because I want to kind of just showcase what this app can do. Um, and I don't need to kind of prattle on for too long about just how good it is because it really does sell itself. And it's free, so it's not really even selling anything. Up we go. There was an update released recently for Vorpex, um, which gives support to Dolphin VR. Um, and I'm going to try that out and see if that's any better. Um, again, probably in another video. But I don't... Having just experienced this yesterday and kind of... I'm only just getting stuck into it now, really. Oh, this is nice and action-packed and it's running really well right now. Um, my word, can you die? Um, 
having just jumped into this yesterday, I can't see why I would want to run Vorpex to latch onto. It's not Dolphin VR, sorry, it's support for Vorpex and Normal Dolphin. I don't. I can't see the Vorpex latching onto Normal Dolphin experience being better than Dolphin VR. I just can't. Um, I will try it out, but I'd be surprised if running them two applications together is a better result than just running this one application here. Um, I would be very, very surprised. Oh yeah, I forget you can scan enemies and like learn things. So look, cutscenes, I can look all over the place. And sometimes you'll look somewhere and there's nothing like rendered there. Um, oh, look at that. Very cool. I remember you got to shoot when the shields kind of... So yeah, slow down here is quite intense. Dash while locked on. Oh yeah, I remember that. Huh? Oh, it's picked up. There you go. So like once it's... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. It does kind of get a bit hairy. But it's still super playable. And to just to be able to see it in VR is insanity. Oh, I missed. Oh, I'm not going to get anything through there. I might. There we go. Fire some missiles in there, shall we? She will love those. Take that. Take that. Oh, yeah. Scan this enemy for its weak spot. How oh, do I need to do that? Fine. Oh, my God. Can you scan the enemy, please? Oh, no. Doing anything but scanning the enemy. Ah, <laughs> uh, we got... Parasite Queen, yep, I get that. Weak spot has been detected in this creature's mouth. Use your auto targeting to acquire this new target. One thing I'll say very quickly is this looks really, really cool. The 3D HUD elements here are fantastic. They're all at different levels. So the weak spot bit where the text is, is kind of along the side. And these are slanted to the side, so it looks like they're appearing on my visor. Very, 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 very cool. Um, yeah, I know, I get it. Shoot it in the mouth. Get it. Target it in the mouth now. Check this out. You got that. Or maybe not. Get the occasional bullet in there when she's doing that. Oh, there you go. Dead. Absolutely fantastic. Fall down into that hole. That's where you belong. Oh, don't come back. Oh, it looks so cool. Occasionally you will get that kind of square up here. I think it's where it's meant to be. Okay, I'm not going to do the escape section. I'm going to leave it there. I think that gives you an, a good enough um, understanding of how good Dolphin VR is. This is a free application. Um, tinkering with it is key. Honestly, having a look at the settings and making sure it runs perfectly on your PC is the key. Spend some time looking at it. If you want a video where I kind of go through my setup, I'll happily do that. Um, but just let me know because I'm still learning it myself. I only started playing with it yesterday. So I am still very new to it. But so far very 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 impressed uh, if you like the video leave me a like uh, leave me a comment let me know what you want to see running in um, vr next so i'll try and do uh, mario sunshine next i think and that'll probably be one of the uh, better games to try but let me know if there's something else you want to see uh, yeah leave me a like leave me a comment and hit subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you very soon for another video take care guys see you later